This is a short documentary created by the second year education students of Miram College entitled To Give or Not to Give, a sophomore documentary. According to cognitive science and psychology research, when tests are composed and conducted properly, it can be an effective tool in order for students to answer questions. It was also discovered that tests could assist students more in recalling information and understanding the lessons deeply than not giving examinations at all. Standardized tests offer equal and equivalent content for all students and eliminates prejudice among them. It also caters as a boost of improvement for students, teachers, and educational institutions. With tests, students are able to see what items or subtopics they should review on. For teachers, this allows them to adjust if their teaching styles are working or not. Whereas for educational institutions, they can evaluate their curriculum and adjust for the betterment of the school. According to Flores and Ong, the president of the Federation of Associations of Private Schools and Administrators, Elizardo Casilag believes that the National Achievement Test, a standardized test taken by students grade 3, 6, 10, and 12, should be abolished because it is ineffective and harmful. Last 2014, Casilag revealed that schools that scored low in the National Achievement Test faced punishment like decreased budget and funds, so public schools aim to score as high as possible, even if it means sacrificing the actual learning of the students. Casilag also added the standardized tests in general abandon critical thinking and holistic understanding in favor of memorization, drills, and repetitive practice. Education with standardized tests is teaching how to take tests instead of learning how to learn. Thank you for agreeing. Please sit down for the interview. Hi, my name is Patricia Angela Marie Armadeo, and I'm a second year student taking a Bachelor of Early Childhood Education. Hello, I'm Arisi Bolanos, a second year elementary education student. Sitting on chair and then saying your name, year, and program. Hi, my name is Argelia Bagalista and I'm a second year early childhood education student. Hi, my name is Lito Midomig Asua, a second year early childhood education student. Hello, I'm Carmela Gonzalez, a second year elementary education student. Hi, my name is Julia Dorian Erika Simarco, a second year student taking Bachelor of Early Childhood Education at Miram College. Hello, my name is Janinaya Moira Hipolito Santo Domingo, a second year student taking up Early Childhood Education. Hi, my name is Shakira Miles M. Bergara. A second-year college student taking up early childhood education. Yes. No. No, I don't agree with giving tests. No. Yes. Um, yes. No. Yes. What is your experience with assessment? How did it affect you? Ever since I was young, like an elementary student, assessment for me was a hard work and very crucial. And I tend to compare my grades to my fellow classmates and it made me insecure. When I reached my high school years, 
there are problem solving skills, essays, and being honest, my brain composed words slowly compared to my classmates and it made me insecure once again. But I'm trying to cope with the system for years. When I was in senior high school, I had a test for my social science class. The test itself was made easy to understand and the type of tests used were applicable. And some parts were even conducted in a creative way like word searches and puzzles. Those made the experience way better than I expected. I realized that a big part of having a good experience in test taking is up to the teacher itself. Students can study every single part of the lesson, but the way the teacher approaches assessing those learnings really matters a lot. These kinds of tests made me enjoy it and even look forward to the process. It certainly made tests unthreatening. As a student, do you think it's necessary to conduct tests in the classroom? Yes, I do think that tests are necessary. For me, conducting assessments is somehow a form and a type of validation um, to test your knowledge and to see whether you are able to do your responsibilities as a student. No, as a student, I think it's not necessary to conduct tests at classroom. Paper pencil tests are not enough to measure one's learning and education is more than passing tests at school. And students should not be defined by numbers because we are more than test scores. Yes, although taking tests as a student sometimes feels draining as it causes anxiety, I still agree that tests are necessary. I believe that conducting tests are vital measurements of learning and knowledge retention. After taking up this course, did your perspective change? No. No. Yes. No, I still think tests are necessary. Yes, this course has made me realize how important tests are not only for the students and teachers but also the whole educational system. No. I believe that this course offered a balanced perspective about the advantages and disadvantages of conducting tests. Although it is not perfect in its current form, I still believe that tests are necessary for the current education system. Yes, because the, the course right now changed my perspective towards assessment that it has positive sides of it. Um, yes, because actually as we discussed further, I was able to realize that um, the test has its importance and impact to both the teachers and students and um, it aids in various ways to help us in our educational journey. As a pre-service teacher, would you want to conduct tests in your classroom? If not, what is an alternative way to assess your students' learning? Before taking this course, my answer would be no. I feel that there are a few alternatives to assess my students' understanding. We're assigning them projects in the form of exhibits, portfolio, and poster making. This way, they are able to showcase their knowledge and creativity. It makes assessment for them fun, a fun thing they do in school. However, after taking this course, I was able to appreciate the significance of testing. It provides teachers with evidence to help them support their students to promote a student-centered approach. Although I still plan on using projects, I will also be utilizing tests to gauge where my students are at. I would still want to conduct tests in my classroom, but I would do them in more various ways. I think that there are different ways where tests can be conducted that are more effective to those being used nowadays. I would combine the standard types of tests with more creative procedures. No, because I think conducting tests or assessment is not for every student or not for everyone. It is not just the basis of the intelligence and the potential of the student. There are students that are good in musical, in visual spatial, in inter or interpersonal, bodily kinesthetic, and even naturalistic skill or kind of test. And I believe that those multiple intelligence is the more accurate way to test the potential and intelligence of the students. 
Um, yes, I would still like to conduct tests in a provided learning space. However, before implementing tests in classrooms, I would want to build a mindset along with my students that we should not perceive tests as a threat to our learning. Rather, it caters as a helping hand for both teachers and students. Moreover, I would not always give tests to students since it can be overwhelming for others. Instead, I would balance various assessments throughout the learning period. Yes, I would want to conduct tests in my classroom. Still, I would consider the unique interests and strengths of my students when it comes to testing. I believe that the right balance between tests, performance tasks, and other platforms of assessment is what makes a classroom effective. I aim to cultivate a classroom culture that will always remind my students that those tests are not made to judge them, but to help them and their teachers point out the areas that they can still improve on. Of course, yes, I do want to give tests inside the classroom. However, I would want to provide them with assessments with their capabilities always kept in mind. I want them to understand that whatever results they get from these assessments will never be a tool for them to be degraded, but rather a tool for them to improve themselves as students. Um, also, although I agree with this kind of setup in giving exams or tests, I want to keep it balanced where standardized tests and performance tests are given and done alternately. Actually, prior to the discussions, I disagreed with giving tests to the students due to the reason that I thought that it just limits the dominant skills of the students. And but now, although I have realized that giving tests would aid in understanding where my students stand in terms of the lessons they were able to grasp or comprehend from the lessons that we tackled before. So, giving tests would give me ideas to conduct other more approaches to where they need more focusing on or help with. Yes, as a pre-service teacher, I would want to conduct tests in my classroom while keeping in mind that teachers should be able to cater education to students. Students who have different strengths and weaknesses and that education should be served in different approaches. How do you plan on conducting tests effectively as a future teacher? Before conducting an effective test, I think I first need to become an effective teacher. Someone who can supply them with enough and proper knowledge that would fulfill their needs as students and citizens. So going back to the question, if I were to conduct and create tests, I will make sure that the included items in my examinations are what they learned from me inside the classroom. I would also consider results from assessments done prior to the tests being conducted. Also, instructions. Instructions play a big, big part on how a student will perform in their examinations. So with this in mind, I would like to keep my instructions clear and not confuse my students. Um, I would give them instructions that are straight to the point simple and aligned with the objective of my lesson. Throughout my time in school, I have always felt anxious before, during, and after a test. Therefore, I will ensure that my students won't go through test anxieties by preparing them before tests through conducting practice assessments and providing them with techniques they can use when taking tests. This way, the students' perspective on tests can change positively. Making it feasible and its difficulty level variable for students is very important in order to effectively test their understanding. Mm. In order to effectively conduct tests, I would not put pressure on my students because they would be terrified and that is not what we educators want when students are learning. It could hinder them from genuinely learning the lessons. I would also double check my tests if they are 101% understandable for the level of my students because as educators, we want to help them understand and learn the topics. We don't want them to have a difficult time answering the tests. 
Lastly, as the learning environment develops, the type of mindset that students and teachers perceive tests as a boost for learning, there is a high possibility that students will be comfortable and confident taking tests. Well, actually, from my past experiences, acquired knowledge and the other alternatives that were introduced to us, I will make sure to provide them tests that do not feel overwhelming or not let them feel any pressure whenever they see the test papers or when they get the results of the test that they've answered that uh, most of them will think that it defines them. I won't let them feel that way. And um, to have them see tests as a way to express themselves where it can be their outlet to be able to assess themselves and give room for improvements which aids both the students and teachers actually for further development. As a future teacher, before giving tests in my classroom, I want to make sure that I was able to teach effectively, effectively to all my students. And it is also my part to make sure that I use the right and the most suitable test type for certain parts or topics that I have. And I strongly believe that not putting too much pressure on my student's score is also an effective way to have a better test result for temptation will be less and they will be able to answer honestly and with peace. Giving unnecessarily long and difficult tests is something I will definitely avoid. What is important to me is that the tests I will give out will bring out their understanding and processing of the lessons. I want to conduct tests with minimal questions, but those questions actually pinpoint their understanding of the concepts and ideas. I believe that less is more. I also believe that in order for tests to be effective for the learners, they must also be able to have an environment that would put them at ease. I don't want to be the type of teacher that puts extra pressure on my students. A lot of children nowadays are very pressured by the grades they should be achieving, and a good percentage of those grades come from tests. If the tests are appropriate and they are given the right environment, then the stress would not exist. Us teachers should be the ones who remove the stigma of grades being everything, and tests should be made more effective. As a future teacher, I will conduct tests depends on the intellectual capacity of the student and I will make sure that the test will not make their spirits low but it will make their to be more like a good student or better student and I believe that it should have like proper multiple choice, proper true or false or even put some problem solving in mathematics and essays in a good format that will be put in a test. First and foremost, I will make sure that everyone has enough knowledge needed before taking the test. I will not put questions that are not even covered in our discussions. I will also make sure that I don't put my students on too much pressure as this can hinder their ability to answer the questions properly, correctly, and carefully. I will also trim down unnecessarily difficult questions because I myself experience test anxiety a lot of times and so it is my goal to prevent test anxiety as much as possible. Enough preparation through formative assessments and or mock examination can help reduce these anxieties. To summarize, giving tests does help both the teachers and students in order to effectively and wholly understand the academic lessons that are being taught. Although it is a must that the teachers are aware of the situations, capacities, and capabilities of their students in order to fully implement their approaches without having the students be discouraged or unmotivated in pursuing their education and future goals. Building a safe and friendly learning environment plays a pivotal role in how students and teachers will be able to work together. Thank you for watching our documentary. And to this, we say... We learn best when we acknowledge where we went wrong. Teachers should know that the assessment 
or test is not just the basis of the intelligence and potentials of the students. Tests are used to discover our strengths and improve our weaknesses. It is not how and what tests are. It is how we view this type of assessment. Tests should continue to be given because they are important in assessing one's learning, but the way they are conducted should be revised. Test measures to improve, not to define. We all are unique. We learn in different ways. A student's learning is a teacher's achievement. 